Hello you lovely people and welcome back to my channel Cook With Joy. For today's video I'm sharing a grocery haul and this is my weekly grocery haul from our local grocery store HEB and as I've said on my channel before this is for a family of four adults. I live here with my husband and two of our three adult children and so that is what this haul is for. I typically cook three nights a week and then we kind of fend for ourselves on the other nights. There are other stores that I shop at for our groceries, so this is not all inclusive. We do have a lot of stock just on hand, so this is just to kind of fill in where we need to fill in. But let me show you what I got this week for our groceries. Okay, I'm gonna start over here in this corner with all the coffees. And this might surprise you because I always say coffee is life, but honestly, I really do just love the taste and also the routine of having a morning coffee and an afternoon coffee, but I am trying to get off of caffeine, so I've been slowly adding some of this decaf coffee in with my regular coffee, but I still, I still bought the regular espresso roast beans. And then in the summer times, I like to buy just pre-made iced coffee periodically. Um, my son likes to drink that too, and so I just, Bought that this week and then we were completely out of oat milk so I had to buy some of that this week um, I am making a tofu meal and my daughter usually uses a package of tofu each week so that's why I have two as usual just got some cheese um, I got this Blarney cheese by Kerrygold and then I also got this sliced cheese to have on hand. And then back here, my daughter had asked for some vegetable tofu, or tofu, sushi this week. So I got that for her. We were completely out of eggs as well. So I grabbed some eggs. And then we were running low on rice. This is the rice that I usually buy, this basmati rice, and I like, this HEB Organics brand, their um, Organics brand is pretty reasonably priced on their items, so I really love that line. And then back here, I did get some more granola. We actually had some leftover yogurt from last week, so I didn't have to get yogurt, but I did get granola. Um, my daughter asked for some almonds, so I got those. I needed some white beans for a recipe this week. And then I've been getting this cashew butter pretty much every week for my husband. He's been eating this instead of peanut butter. And then uh, we also needed more vegetable broth, so I grabbed that. And then as far as fruits and veggies this week, it's a little bit slim this week. We did have some stuff left over from last week. Um, especially in the fruit department, so I don't really have any fruit, I guess, unless you consider lemons a fruit, but I did get lemons. But I got some carrots, shredded cabbage, which is for a recipe, baby spinach, broccoli, kale, avocados, red pepper. My daughter asked for just a regular potato. <laughs> And then we have some garlic here, which I pretty much buy every week now. And then we also have some jalapeno peppers. And then I did grab some frozen blueberries and cherries. We seem to always be running low on those. I've mentioned we use these to make our protein shakes. For frozen foods for my son this week, I got these real good chicken strips. He really likes these. They are gluten-free. Um, I think they're marketed for keto diet. They're only three carbs. And then I also got a couple of cauliflower crust pizzas. Um, this buffalo, buffalo woe. This one is really good if you've never tried this. I really love this. I will sometimes throw some extra cheese on it. I put on goat cheese and then I'll top it with a balsamic glaze drizzle and that's really good. And then I also got this other one, Italian sausage and red peppers is what that one is. I did pick up this gluten-free sourdough white bread. This is so good. I've had this one other time. 
It is especially good with like avocado toast. So if you are gluten-free, you've got to give this a try because I am not a huge fan of gluten-free bread. I oftentimes don't even use bread. I'll just use like lettuce wraps or even just eat a salad instead. But this is so good. And then I needed to stock up on my dog's dog food. We've been switching up his dog food because he seems to not like the kind we used to buy. So we've been buying these um, HEB brand dog foods and then trying this beef flavor instead of the chicken for him. I did pick up some more Ensure drinks for my son. He likes to have those on hand. And lastly, I got sparkling water. As I always say, my favorite brand, Waterloo. And they've come out with like mocktail type flavors. And I thought this all day rosé sounded so fun. Um, great for like having a sparkling water drink that is non-alcoholic while I'm cooking dinner. Uh, maybe even put it in a wine glass just for fun. Um, but I'm really curious about how that one tastes. And then I again went with the raspberry nectarine flavor as we've really been enjoying that. Okay, you lovely people, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I bought for our family for groceries this week. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I post grocery hauls every Monday and then recipes on Fridays. So if that content interests you, I hope you might consider subscribing. But thanks as always for watching until the end and I will see you next time. Bye.